Tonight, a special ABC 15 investigation. What happens when police officers lie, make up evidence, make bad arrests? When you have an officer who's willing to lie, the entire system breaks down. But what if that system is already broken? Putting people in prison is not a game. That's why we have Brady. We've spent a year investigating problems with Arizona's Brady List, the list prosecutors use to track lying and criminal cops. We found the lists are missing officers. <laughs> the process missing basic accountability and as a result juries are missing the truth minneapolis the police killing of george floyd and protests sweeping the nation the calls for criminal justice reform have never been louder police departments and county attorneys say they're ready to listen and make changes but can we actually trust them to follow through for more than a year, ABC 15 has been investigating the five-part series we're launching tonight. It's called Full Disclosure, and here's why we're doing it. In 1963, the Supreme Court ruled in a landmark case, Brady versus Maryland. Police and prosecutors are required to give you all the evidence, even if it hurts their case. Like if the officer has been involved in lying in the past or has his own criminal record, that information has to be disclosed. But as ABC 15 investigator Dave Biskiving is about to show, it's been nearly 60 years and we still don't have it right. Tonight, we'll take you through the key problems that we discovered, and then in the coming days, take you deep inside real cases to highlight the everyday harm of dishonest officers and this broken system. This is Arizona's full Brady list. 1,400 law enforcement officials tracked by prosecutors for things like lying, planting drugs, committing crimes, and other integrity concerns. I just wonder how many cases they've touched that might have questions. Hundreds of thousands of cases? And yeah, I mean, potentially more. No one gave us this list. We made it by obtaining tens of thousands of pages of records, plus information and data from every Arizona county. If you want the public to trust the officers that they're relying on, they should know which officers are problematic. It's an unprecedented, searchable public database of Brady officers. Why did we do it? Several reasons. There's no centralized uh, Brady database. Problem one, each county keeps their own list in their own way. There's no statewide list. No mandatory reporting to AZ Post, the state police board. In Arizona, right, you have 15 different county attorneys making... Uh, All different decisions. Right, and with no standard. We found situations where officers are put on the list of one county and they leave and go to another county and they're hired and they're not on those counties' lists. So obviously there are big holes in the system. Does that surprise you? No, it doesn't because there's no requirement that the prosecutors um, who, who keep them uh, share that information with AZ Post, which is the organization that would certify or decertify um, problematic officers. That allows officers who lie or commit crimes to keep their licenses to bounce around departments without permanent accountability. Oh, I have to carry ID. In Superior, Arizona, they had a force where six of nine officers were fired from other departments, most of them on the Brady list somewhere, just not all of them in that county. False info for what? Because Do not fight us. Are you serious? The results? Chaotic and unconstitutional policing. Hey. You're under arrest. Despite the 1963 ruling, the oldest Brady lists go back just 20 years. Some counties didn't even start keeping them until this decade. So ABC 15 obtained a list of every AZ Post case for the same time frame since 2000. We combined them together, analyzed the data. There was no record that at least 400 Brady cases resulted in official state board cases. So how many of those officers should have lost their license? but didn't. They can move across t t town to another uh, department. They can move to another county, right? And none of that information is going to necessarily be tracked. Oh! Problem two, there's little oversight for police and prosecutors to make sure they put officers on the list who belong on the list. Hey, in Glendale, before this officer pulled a handcuffed man's shorts down and tasered him in the groin, hey, he claimed he pulled the car over for a turn signal violation. Stop. Surveillance video shows he could not have seen it, but the decision to discipline him for making it up, overturned by department higher-ups. The public has to a hope that the police department investigates it, that the police department sustains it, that they then turn it over to the county attorney's office, and then that the county attorney's office turns it over to attorneys like you. That seems like a lot of steps that we have to trust them without having anyone else in place to oversee that they actually do it. That's absolutely right, and that's the problem. Problem three, no punishments for police and prosecutors if they hide or withhold Brady material. By analyzing the data we obtained, we found, just in Maricopa County alone, at least 175 times since 2000, 
when officers were delayed being put on the Brady list, and not as soon as officials knew about credibility issues. The delays usually months, sometimes years. And based on the disparate incomplete data, the 175 times is likely a significant undercount. It was worse than a nightmare, I mean. This grandmother spent 22 months in prison, all based on the testimony of a documented liar. This Phoenix officer's past lies were never disclosed. They had no idea he falsely arrested someone and lied about it a year before trial. I mean, do you think if you would have been able to tell the jury, this guy is a liar, he's lied in cases, do you think that would have made a difference? Absolutely. Problem four. With the system so broken, it can break both ways. The Brady List can be used to retaliate against whistleblowers. Aha, you're on the Brady List. And I go, yeah, I am, and I can't get off. This Phoenix sergeant exposed the city's false kidnapping statistics. But instead of owning up to the lie, the city placed him under internal investigation, accused him of lying. There are virtually no checks and balances in internal affairs investigation. For good cops, their job is harder when the, when the public doesn't trust them. If problematic officers are able to hide within departments, that destroys the trust between the public and, and, their, and their police. Some final context here. As of 2019, we found at least 220 Brady List officers still on the job in Arizona, more than 100 in Phoenix alone and dozens of new officers get added every year. Online right now, we've published our Brady List database and a database of every state police board case since 2000. We believe that's information the public should have. We believe that is full disclosure. I'm Investigator Dave Biscoving, ABC 15, Arizona. Each day this week, Dave will take us deeper inside the stories we just saw. Tomorrow night at 6.30, full disclosure continues with a look inside a police department filled with Brady List officers and the chaos that ensues.